Thanks for tapping in to another episode of Trapping T-Shirts with your boy, Big Crooked. You know our motto over here, you ain't got to sell dope, you just got to sell dope shit. Hey, this is going to be a quick video on uh, printing bigger and cricket. I know a lot of us start off uh, with this journey, starting off with cricket, and we're trying to figure out how to sublimate bigger images. Me, personally, I use a different uh, design software to print bigger images, but I will show you guys how to print bigger and cricket. So let's jump over to the computer screen and I'll show you how to queue that up and we'll get that done. Doing it from the Cricut Design Space app. So let me pull up these images that I have from a previous project that I had. Um, when we get it on the thing, you see I do have it set at 675 by 925, but I also have a square that I got out of shapes and resized to six and three quarters by four point six. So what I'm gonna do is take it and put it over my image and then I'm going to select it all, go down to edit, and then slide over to align and make sure I have it aligned at the bottom and in the center. Once I do that, I'm going to slide over to actions and hit slice. Now that it's sliced, we're going to move this square. I have a bottom half right here. And then let's go back over to the top half. I don't know why I left that little extra on there, but let's take the square, align it over the top half, and then um, let's select it all, and then let's zoom in a little bit, and then we're gonna go back down to actions, I mean to edit, and uh, after we select it all, and try to align it up in the center again. So let's get over there and do that. Bam, it's in the center, align top and center, and then we're going to go back over to actions and hit slice. And then once it's sliced, we're going to move the bottom over here, get rid of that square, toss it to the side, line them up. And now you have two halves of your image. But you're not done yet because if you um, click on it and look at the size, you still have more print space. It should be at six and three quarters by 4.6, but for some reason the app got it at 6.73. So let's go down here. And what we're gonna do is resize this. We're gonna change the width to nine and a quarter. So let's get that done. All right, nine and a quarter. Now you got nine and a quarter by 6.33. Let's get rid of this. That's that extra line. If I would've did it on the computer, I wouldn't have had that. But since this is just a tutorial, I'm gonna run with this right here. So let's grab the bottom half and change the width on that also to 6.25. Now you got that 6.25 by 6.3. And now you got a bigger image right there. Go over to hit make and print it. When you get ready to print it, do not forget to uh, mirror your image. Get rid of that square too. You don't need to print that. All right, gang, there you have it. Those are the basics of how you're going to print bigger and cricket design space. You know what I'm talking about? I ain't going to go through the process of taping up the images and stuff because if you want to see that, I got a video that should be showing somewhere around here in a couple of seconds. But hey, if you stuck around to the end of the video, don't forget to hop down in the comments and hashtag Route98 uh, for a chance to win some of this merch. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and uh Check that notification bell if you haven't already. You can share this video too. And y'all can hop down in the comments and say what kind of videos y'all want to see. What kind of tutorials y'all need. I'll jump down there and bust them out for you. But yeah, that's it right there, gang. Until next time, I appreciate you tapping in. Gang.